Okay, welcome to all. I am Dr. K. Sarvaraj, Assistant Professor of Botany, G. Venkatasamy Naidu College, Kovil Patti. Today we will see the Clicalysis. It's a, it is one of the important topics. I go, all of us will know that our human body is functioning due to the cell functioning. Each and every cell functioning in our body due to the energy is supplied through our cells. That energy is supplied by the food material what we consumed. That consumed food materials are converted in a form of a glucose. What are the food material we consume? The food material may contain vitamins, fat and the lipids, whatever it may be. Finally, it converted into a glucose. Then that glucose is taken by our blood cells. Then our glucose becomes a blood glucose. Finally, this blood glucose are entered into our cell. In cell itself, the glucose breakdown process is called glycolysis. Glyco means a glucose or carbohydrate or sugar. Lysis means to break down. So glycolysis means the breakdown of glucose into a cell. Why glucose molecule is break down inside the cell? Because Whenever the glucose molecule is break down, the glucose molecule produces the energy, ATP. The produced energy is careful to the function of each and every organ inside the cell. The glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. In our cell, the cytoplasm, the glycolysis process is takes place. Let me see. What are the mechanisms or what are the methods these glucose molecules are break down inside the cell. Let me see one by one. First, the overall glycolysis process is divided into a two part. One is pulmonary part, another one is a payoff part. The first phase is called pulmonary part. It's a pulmonary. In pulmonary phase, one molecules of glucose, one molecules of glucose is break down and forms one molecule of glycerolic acetylene phosphate and one molecule of dicataxy acetone phosphate or else the one molecule of glucose forms here two molecules of glycerolic acetylene phosphate. Let me see the methods of this glucose breakdown in tripletary space. There the phosphorylation process is important because Whenever the phosphate molecule is added in a glucose, the phosphate molecule makes the overall glucose compound to break into a such compound like that, the glycerolic three phosphate. First, the glucose molecule. One molecule of if one molecule of glucose enter inside our cell, especially in the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm itself contains so many enzymes. These enzymes are begins to break down the glucose. First enzyme which encountered to glucose is kexokinase. Kexokinase, the name itself contains the enzyme activity. The kinase means the enzyme careful to break the, the, uh, the breakdown of adenosine diphosphate. ADP into ATP or ATP into ADP. So, this enzyme careful to the phosphorylation each and every Molecules is phosphorylated by only because of the enzyme kinase. Kexokinase means glucose is a kexose compound. Kexose means six carbon compound. So it is called kexo. So the kexokinase enzyme first encountered the glucose compound, then the glucose became glucose six phosphate. It became glucose six phosphate. One thing you mind it. Whenever the phosphate molecules are there into any carbon, first it added to a last carbon atom so that the glucose contains six carbon atom. The last, the last sixth carbon atom is added by one phosphate molecule or the glucose molecule is phosphorylated by the enzyme kexokinase. Here one ATP molecule becomes a ADP so the phosphate molecule is added to glucose then the glucose became glucose six phosphate. Yes, this process is irreversible. It is non reversible process. Whenever the kinase, one thing you mind it, whenever the kinase enzyme is involved, at the time, the, that reaction is not reversible. 
ये सेकेंड स्टेप दी ग्रुगो सिक्स पास पे बिकेम से सरक्टो सिक्स पास पे इस बिकेम से सरक्टो सिक्स पास पे क्लियर वन वन जेंसे में सिंगुआ या जेंसे में इसका आल पास पो ग्रुगो पास पो ग्रुगोस आइसो मेलेस आप सिंगली यू में ऐसे में इस नाम पास पो इस पास पो केक्सो आइसो मेलेस Pasco, kexo isomer because the glucose also a kexo sugar. So we simply call not a pasco glucose isomer, pasco kexo isomerase. Isomerase means it convert the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So the glucose six phosphate became fructose six phosphate. What is main difference between the glucose and fructose? Glucose is a kexo structure but fructose is a pentose structure. There is a big difference. It is a kexo sugar. It is a kexo structure. The overall glucose structure is called kexo. It is a kexagonal in structure. It is a glucose. But glucose is a kexagonal. You see? Yeah. It is a kexagonal structure. But fructose is a pentagonal. It is a pentose sugar. It is a pentagonal structure fructose. Why the glucose 6-phosphate convert into fructose 6-phosphate means for easily break down the further process. In further Chemical or the further biochemical reactions, the fructose six phosphate is break down into a some other compound. For that, the glucose six phosphate first converted into a fructose six phosphate. That means a kexo sugar becomes a pentose sugar. Then the fructose six phosphate becomes fructose one six bisphosphate. Fructose one comma six. Bisphosphate. Okay, another one you are saying the phospho fructose kinase. Whenever the kinase enzyme is involved, the one ATP is converted into a ADP or ADP is formed to ATP. So, here the kinase enzyme is involved, one ATP molecule becomes a ADP molecule. This process is also non-reversible or irreversible. But the isomer reaction is a reversible one. It is reversible. This reaction is not. Whenever the kinase enzyme is involved, that reaction is non-reversible. So the phosphoflecto kinase enzyme forms a fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Here, the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is important one because the new phosphate molecule is already in your first carbon atom. This process it is careful to break down of the fructose 6-phosphate into two tricarbon carbon. The adding of one new phosphate in your first carbon atom helps to break down of your carbon between your third carbon and the fourth carbon of this fructose sugar. One to the, the third carbon and the fourth carbon sugar. fructose sugar. For the breakage process, one carbon atom should added in your first carbon atom of your fructose. So, the fructose 6-phosphate becomes fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Now, the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate with the help of enzyme aldolase. Aldolase is an important enzyme in biochemical processes. Wherever the aldolase enzyme is involved, this aldolase enzyme break down a fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into two common. One is glycerolidase triphosphate. Glycerolidase triphosphate. Second one is dihydroxy acetone phosphate. Dihydroxy acetone phosphate. The fructose six phosphate is a six carbon atom. In the six carbon atom, first three carbon atom is break and forms a dihydroxy acetone phosphate. The second carbon atom breaks and forms glycerolidase triphosphate. What is the difference between the dihydroxy acetone phosphate and the glycerolidase triphosphate? Only one main difference. That means the dihydroxy acetone phosphate is a keto sugar. Glycerolidase triphosphate is a aldo sugar. What is aldo? What is keto? Aldo means a C double bond O. C a C double bond O. This aldehyde group is present in a second carbon atom. It is a keto group. It present a first carbon atom. It is a aldo group. So. Dihydroxy acetone phosphate is a keto sugar. 
Gilsali three pass pair is here out of order. The delegate takes a stone pass pair and the Gilsali three pass pair both are interconverter. Both are interconverter with the help of enzyme thiose phosphate isomerase. Thiose phosphate isomerase. Okay. With the help of the enzyme thiose phosphate isomerase. Dilatase acetone phosphate is converted into glycerolase to the phosphate. How can we remember the enzyme names? Because the process, this what are the process occurred in this reaction? That reaction itself possesses the names. Because it is a terrier sugar. You know, glycerolase three phosphate is a three carbon compound. Dilatase acetone phosphate is also a three carbon compound. So it's a terrier. The, the both can name phosphate come on. So it is phosphate. Isomerase means the same molecular formula, different structural formula. That's the isomerase. So the keto sugar becomes all those. So there is phosphate isomerase enzyme involves it makes a dilatase acetone phosphate into glycerate to the phosphate. Finally, in this preparatory space, one molecule of glucose is break down and the form. Two molecules of glycerol to the phosphate. This process also reversible. And the terrios phosphate isomers involve reactions also reversible. Only where the kinase enzyme involved, that process alone is irreversible. Let me see the pay of space. After that, the two glycerol to the phosphate which converted or which form during the preparatory phase directly involved to a payoff phase. Let me see in payoff phase of this glycolysis. The second phase is payoff phase. It's called as payoff phase. In preparatory phase, two molecules of two molecules of glycerolase to the phosphate. Okay, two molecules. Okay, the number two is two molecules of glycerolase to the phosphate is prepared in the preparatory space. Now, these two molecules of glycerolase to the phosphate enter into a payoff space. Okay, in payoff space, the first involved enzyme is glycerolase to the phosphate degatogenase. The first enzyme is glycerolase to the phosphate dehydrogenase. Here, one phosphate molecule is added because it is two molecules of glycerolase phosphate, so two molecules of inorganic phosphate. And degatogenase means it converts NAD plus into NADH. The NAD compound becomes reduced into NADH. I hope the biological students will know that what is reduction and what is oxidation. Reduction means one molecule. Issue the electron or one molecule accept the electron is called reduced. So the NAD plus it is oxidation form, it, it accepted one hydrogen molecule and it became reduced into NADH plus H plus. So this glycerolase 3 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme involved and it forms a glycerolase 3 phosphate into 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate by bisphosphoglycerate. Okay, one to the bisphosphate glycerate. Now, this reaction is, is also reversible. Remember one thing, the irreversible reaction means where the kinase enzyme is involved and where the ATP molecule is break down into a ADP or ADP break down to a ATP. Here, one phosphate molecule is added. Here, the phosphorylation process is involved and also dehydrogenase process. Here, both steps is occurring. In glycerol and phosphate to conversion of one three bisphosphate glycerate. Both process involved. One is phosphorylation. Two inorganic phosphate is added. Here, not ATP and ADP is involved. And also, dehydrogenase. Dehydrogenase means the hydrogen molecule is removed from the glycerol and phosphate and makes the glycerol and phosphate becomes a one three bisphosphate glycerate. One three bisphosphate glycerate. It is also two molecule. Now, the, this one phosphate glycerate. 1,3 bisphosphate glycerate becomes 3 phosphate glycerate. 3 phosphate glycerate. Here you see 1,3. 1,3 means the first carbon atom and the third carbon atom contains a phosphate group. Here only 3 phosphate glycerate because 1 phosphate molecule is removed from the 
one day discourse coach will say, Father, the removal of the Adiya phosphate molecule and the removal of phosphate molecule, there should be a kinase enzyme involved. So, KD involved kinase enzyme means phosphoglycylate kinase because the name itself is the phosphate, the phosphate compound is present here. So, it is phosphoglycylate is present here. So, phosphoglycylate. The kinase enzyme involves and in here one ATP molecule becomes ATP. In glycolysis, the first formed ATP is here. Not here. The first formed ATP is here. When the only bisphosphoglycerate is converted into triphosphoglycerate, there one ATP molecule is formed. Here two molecules of one bisphosphoglycerate is involved. So two molecules of ATP. The can form set two molecules of JDP form set two molecules of ATP. So one three bisphosphoglycerate converted into three phosphoglycerate. Two molecules of three phosphoglycerate. Now here one isomase enzyme is involved. The two phosphoglycerate becomes here. The three phosphoglycerate becomes here two phosphoglycerate. Two phosphoglycerate. It's a two molecule. For this conversion, the isomerase enzyme, the isomerase enzyme means the phosphoglycerate isomerase. The phosphoglycerate isomerase. This process is also reversible. Okay, this process is also reversible. When this three phosphate molecules is converted to two phosphate, two phosphoglycerate, that means not a single sitting of a phosphate from one carbon, one carbon to another carbon. Most of us, we simply conclude that the three phosphate glycerate become two phosphate glycerate means the third carbon atom transfer the phosphate group into a, into a second carbon atom. But it is not. Here the enzyme isomerase. You see, the enzyme isomerase. The isomerase enzyme itself can it's a phosphorylator. The enzyme contains a phosphate compound. The first step, the shifting of phosphate molecules from 3 phosphate glycerate to 2 phosphate glycerate. First, this 3 phosphate glycerate forms a 1 3 bisphosphate glycerate. That means 1 phosphate molecule is added to 3 phosphate glycerate by the phosphate which present in the phosphate glycerate isomerase enzyme. Then the phosphate glycerate isomerase enzyme became phosphate glycerate. Uh, sorry, uh, symbol D, glycerate isomerase alone. It became one the bisphosphate glycerate. Then this enzyme again pick up the phosphate molecule which present in the one the bisphosphate glycerate. Then the three phosphate glycerate becomes a two phosphate glycerate. It is not the mere shifting of phosphate group from one carbon to another carbon. It is adding a phosphate molecule from the enzyme and the Removal of phosphate molecule by the enzyme. So the two phosphate glycerate is formed. Two molecules of two phosphate glycerate is formed. Now this two phosphate glycerate from this two phosphate glycerate, the enzyme enolase involves to remove the phosphate glycerate. So the enzyme enolase. The main function of the enzyme enolase means to remove of water group. So both water molecules removed from the Two passport glycerate. Okay, two molecules of two passport glycerate is involved. So the two molecules of water molecule is removed from the two passport glycerate. Then the two passport glycerate becomes phosphoenal pyruvate. Phosphoenal pyruvate. Two molecules of phosphoenal pyruvate. This reaction is also reversible. So two water molecules of removed from the two passport glycerate. Again, the final step. In final step, passport glycerate becomes a pyruvate. Passport glycerate becomes a pyruvate. Two molecules of pyruvate. Here, the enzyme, which enzyme is involved? The pyruvate is, pyruvate is a final product. So, the enzyme is pyruvate kinase. Pyruvate kinase. Then, where the kinase enzyme is involved? The ATP or ADP becomes a conversion of another form. Here, the phosphate molecule is removed from the phosphoenal pyruvate. So, the ADP becomes ATP. Two molecules of phosphoenal pyruvate is involved. So, two molecules of ADP become two molecules of ATP. 
it is the second ATP synthesized reaction. The first ATP synthesized reaction is the one three bisphosphate cell becomes three phosphate cell. This step, the first ATP molecule is synthesized. The second ATP molecule is synthesized here. It is the overall glycolysis. In overall glycolysis, in the in the pair of space out, four ATP molecules is synthesized. Here two and the last step, the, at the time of five formation also two ATP molecules. Generally four ATP molecules are synthesized. But in filtrate space, two ATP molecules are utilized. So the final net net gain of ATP during the glycolysis process is two molecules. Two molecules of ATP is here. Net gain in glycolysis process. I go. You have well understood about the glycolysis. Do you care? Any doubt? You feel free. Come and take a check box. I will clarify your doubt. Thank you. Thank you all.